Today I'm going to talk to you about planting a butterfly garden. Probably the most important thing to consider when you're going to plant a butterfly garden is the fact that when you plant a butterfly garden, what you're actually planting is a caterpillar garden. I can't tell you how many times I've had people call me all worried and upset because their butterfly garden was covered in caterpillars, but that's really exactly what you want. When you plant a butterfly garden, part of the joy is watching the whole cycle of life that happens from the eggs to the caterpillars to the chrysalis to the butterfly. It's especially fun when you have children. Once you're comfortable with the idea of caterpillars eating your plants, the next thing to decide is what to grow. The way you decide that is you observe what kind of butterflies do you see in your area. And then a little bit of research will tell you what their preferred foods are. You know they grow in your area because the butterflies are already there. In my area, we have a lot of swallowtails, we have fritillaries, and the monarchs come through. So every year, I make sure that I always have parsley in my garden. And that's where the black swallowtails always lay their eggs. I can count on it every year, just like the seasons. If you have fritillary butterflies in your area, they feed on passion vine. And another magnificent, not a butterfly, but a moth that, that we have in this area are luna moths some of the biggest moths in the world. And they will lay their eggs on sweet gum trees and persimmons. Look around your garden and see what kind of butterflies are flying around. Then do a little bit of research and find out what they like to eat and plant that in your garden. Be willing for it to get eaten and then enjoy the beauty of having the whole life cycle of butterflies in your garden. I'm Rebecca Wynn with Whimsical Gardens and this has been How to Start a Butterfly Garden.